Remain in my youth, what a guam, everything I ray. Uh, today I got a uh, 28-2-8 uh, Nikon. This is the D version. Um, and we got an oily aperture. In fact, we have, how many is this? Six. Uh, I, I got eight lenses and six of them have oily apertures. So you can see it's a very common problem, but uh, it's actually, uh, <laughs> you can relax, it's, it's gonna be all right. Because uh, this is actually one of the easiest lenses um, to do. Um, uh, to clean the oily aperture so even though I got six out of eight of mine need cleaning it's not a big deal because they're they're fairly easy so um, I picked this guy because he looked like he was the oiliest one um, and I thought I'd play a little Bob Marley because everything is gonna be alright um, I should leave that on so um, yeah, so first thing we do is you can take a lens cap like this and take some tape and roll it up on so it's sticky side out and then uh, you can use that to take this off or you can, I'm now using these, I maybe I should go back to the tape so you guys can see it but all I do is you take a bit of tape and just, I'll just show you. So you roll it like this so it's sticky side and then just run a bead around here stick it on there and then you can actually take the we're gonna take the nameplate off but I'm gonna use this fancy dancy I should just do a tools video and show you guys all my tools but and where I get them but um, so you just this is just some sort of silicone cheap eBay rubbery thing it's silicone I guess but I wish it was rubber it would stick a bit better if it was rubber but it's silicone so it works so there's the nameplate, set that aside. Um, then, this is such an easy lens to do. It's got one part that's kind of annoying to do, but I'll show you in a second where that is. So you're just taking these three screws out. Then, then all we do is we yank this out. Now, I've said this a thousand times in all my videos, if you don't make out with this and lick it all up, you don't have to clean them. So just don't touch this. Same with when we get in here to the rear element. If you don't touch it, you don't have to clean it. So be very careful. I'm going to totally set this aside so I don't lick it. Um, okay, so now, let me see if you guys can see this. I'm just going to bring the focus up. Let me show you a few things actually while I'm here. So we're going to take these three screws out. One, two, three. And you can see that they're glued. They got some red glue on here. Um, do not scratch that off because we're going to be using that later as markers um, for lining this all up because this will give you uh, F22. Okay. And my aperture is glued. <laughs> but um, that'll give us F22. Um, so we're going to need that glue on there. And then there's also a bead of glue here. Um, and this holds this ring in. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to actually cut this just with a screwdriver and scribe it across here, get rid of that glue, and then we're going to peel this um, this ring once we get the screws out. We're going to flip this ring up. Now this ring can be glued down because glue seeps, um, and also I, I've had them where it's just oil alone will be soaked under here. So it's a little bit difficult to pop them out. Be very patient. I use a tiny little screwdriver like this, um, just a little flathead or any sort of tool that you can get under there. And we're gonna pop that up. And just be careful because you don't want to bend this ring. You cannot bend this ring because if you bend it, you know what, actually I don't think this lens particularly matters, but there's a lot of lenses you can't bend this ring because it will botch. Uh, it'll pinch, but this one actually, I don't think you have to do that now, I'm looking at it, I don't remember. But, still, you don't want to bend these prongs too bad. Uh, and then, yeah, I think that's it. So let's jump in. So, one other thing is, we're going to... Uh, where's the light? There. So, just remember that this C, we'll call this the C, 
brassy. It opens to uh, this lever and the spring, just so when you're putting it back together, you know where it goes. Um, just fix my focus here. Now I'm gonna pop this ring up. And this might take a bit, because it's some of them are difficult. So that's the hardest part to deal with, is popping this ring. And of course you can see, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's just lathered in oil. Let me see. Uh, yeah, you can't really see it, but it's just completely covered in oil. And that's where it's all coming under. There you can definitely see it on the inside. It's just soaked. So, uh, now, um, so what this was doing was is holding the aperture down, the, the whole assembly down. So now we can actually pop the whole assembly out. You don't have to worry about the spring just yet. Okay, it's loose and then I just pop it out. Boom, there's the whole assembly. Um, and there's oil all the way through. This one's extra, I'm glad I picked it, it's extra, extra oily. Um, so, now what we're gonna do is you just pop this, um, this little spring off. You'll notice that the, this is the, this is the way that the, uh, the um, aperture needs to go back together. It needs to be, they're all gonna be pointing clockwise and then we're gonna stack them counterclockwise and then slip the last one and I'll show you guys this later but you'll slip when you get to the last one you're gonna slip it underneath the first one and then drop it and it'll land back on top of the the last one that you did before so we'll get there and I'll show you so you just take these all out um, I use, uh, this is 70%, I use 90% as well, but just uh, rubbing alcohol. And then I actually fill, I put rubbing alcohol in here, just, just about that much, just a tiny bit. And I use this for tons of lenses, it just keeps going and going and going, that way you're not having to Q-tip and swab all the time. If you're doing more than one lens, you'll want to do this. If you're doing just one lens, then I just put it on a Q-tip and swab my um, blades. I'm just gonna throw them in here. We're just gonna do this for a bit. Oh mother, I forgot my focus, sorry. We just take our alcohol and we're gonna swab the living daylights out of everything. Um, and I usually use my high-end professional shirts uh, to dry everything off. Um, ever since I got married, I do less laundry now. <laughs> I'm dirty. Okay, so we're just gonna I just, a rubbing alcohol really breaks down the, um, the oil. I just lather it right on, give it a good old rubbing, dry it off on my beautiful clothes. Or, or a proper cloth maybe, you could have. Again, we're gonna swap the inside. Um, just remember, if you do not touch that element, if you don't touch it, you don't have to clean it. Um, and there's a little rim of oil along the outside of mine. You're just gonna clean what you have to. You really don't wanna touch that element because this has oil on it. If you get it on that element, then you're dealing with oil on your element. I use these prongs just to get them out. Again, dry them off. 